Let us consider the same thing for an expense. An expense paid during the year. There can be prepaid expense or there could be outstanding expense. So let us consider that expense which is paid during the year, whatever cash movement would be there in the receipts and payments account. It may relate to the previous year, it may relate to the next year or it may relate to the current year. The expense which is outstanding at the beginning of the year will go to the opening balance sheet. It is outstanding. We had to pay. We did not pay. This is a liability. Expense which is outstanding at the end of the year will go to the closing balance sheet. And of course, it is also, it is a liability. Expense which is paid in advance, opening, opening balance sheet, it will appear in. And this is an asset because it is a prepaid expense. We have paid the expense. Now services are receivable. Closing expense paid in advance, again an asset, but we'll go to the closing balance sheet. And the expense for the year, current year, whether paid or not, expense for the current year should go to the income and expenditure account. If we were to prepare an expense account, What is the opening balance? Opening balance, we have a liability outstanding at the beginning of the year. Liability, bring down the liability to the credit side because liability account is debited and this revenue account would be credited. We are closing the liability account which was there in the opening balance sheet. We are closing that account by transfer to the revenue account, whether it's income or expense. So by... <clears throat> outstanding expense what else do we have opening this is taken care of what do we have opening we have paid in advance paid in advance so that was an asset so credit the asset account and transfer that balance here to prepaid prepaid expense <clears throat> Expense which is outstanding at the end of the year. Before that, let us do the expense which is paid during the year. Actually paid expense account debit to bank. Bank is credited since money has gone out. Expense account debit to bank. So that's taken care of. <coughs> Next expense outstanding at the end of the year. It is an expense. So expense should be increased. Expense account debit to outstanding expense. We are creating this liability here. Next Expense which is paid in advance. We took care of this. Expense paid in advance closing. Expense paid in advance closing. What will be the entry for that? It's prepaid. It's an asset. Asset account debit. Credit expense by prepaid expense. Closing. Expense paid in advance, we paid it, it is included in this bank, we have to remove it. So credit, expense account, debit, prepaid expense account. The balancing figure here would be transferred to income and expenditure being expense for the year. Expense for the year. Let's look at Anita presentation. Expense account debit to bank, what is actually paid. But what about bringing forward the opening balances? Opening outstanding expense, liability, expense which was due, not paid. This is a liability in the opening balance sheet. We transfer that liability to this revenue account. So what do we do? We debit that account and we credit opening outstanding expense. Prepaid similarly is an asset. Credit the asset account, debit prepaid expense account. Bank already taken care. So now what do we have? Closing. Do we have any outstanding expenses? If there is anything, any expense which we've not paid, add it to the expense account. Debit expense, create a liability account. If you've prepaid, create an asset, remove it from the expense. Prepaid account debit to expense. So we credit expense here. Balancing figure will be what goes to income and expenditure account.